has been a long week here at CES. Team Engadget arrived in Vegas back on Friday last week, and since then we've published over 250 stories and 70 videos. And we might not even be done yet. After seeing as much of this sprawling tech show as we could, we're finally ready to reveal our picks for the official Best of CES Awards. Our team spent hours having some, um, spirited debates about who the nominees and eventual winners should be. Here's where we landed. First up, our accessibility category. It was a tough call, but we went with the Phonak Virtu Black, a discrete hearing aid that takes the form of wireless earbuds. This device does indeed do an effective job enhancing one's hearing. In fact, one of my colleagues who has limited hearing has been wearing a pair this whole week and is a big fan. In addition to the hearing correction, the device is actually quite versatile, with Bluetooth streaming, call handling, and an accessory for, quote, distance hearing. All told, it has the potential to enhance someone's life beyond its primary purpose, which really is what all good technology should do. Think of Hydroloop as a household water recycler. Waste water from the bathtub and other sources goes in, clean water to flush toilets comes back in. That can recycle some 85% of water used at home, reducing water consumption by 45%, according to the company. It's not cheap at $4,000, but the unit has the advantage of being a set and forget device. Not only were we taken with Hydroloop's mission, but as a startup, its business model also makes sense. Hydroloop doesn't need to sell subscriptions or set complicated pricing tiers. It mainly needs to convince homeowners that a water recycling system is worth the investment. We think it has a shot. Withings is best known for its simple but classy fitness watches, and so it makes sense that its win in the best digital health and fitness category is for one deceptively simple product. The scan watch looks like a classic analog timepiece, but on the backside are not one, but two optical sensors. One for ECG testing, which has become near standard on newer smartwatches, and one for detecting sleep apnea. We don't often hear about gadgets that claim to detect signs of sleep apnea, but it's a common problem, one that could lead to various other potentially fatal conditions. To do this, the scan watch monitors blood oxygen levels using that optical sensor. In addition, it does basic step and sport tracking plus smartphone notifications, and the battery life is rated for an impressive 30 days. No wonder it was nominated in both our digital health and wearable categories. Alas though, it wasn't Withings that won the best wearable category. It was actually another hearing device, the Olive Union Smart Ear. There was a time when every winner in this category was likely to be a watch, but in the year 2020, when wireless earbuds come a dime a dozen, it makes sense that this year's winner was meant to be worn in the ear. We chose a Smart Ear both for its discreet design and the fact that it offers hearing enhancement for way less money than a traditional hearing aid. Factor in additional features like Bluetooth streaming and call handling, and you have one versatile wearable, especially at this $249 price. This year, the winner in our best transportation technology category isn't a car. It isn't even a flying taxi. No, it's the Wallbox Quasar Charger. What really captured our imaginations here is that it's the first bi-directional EV charger for home use, meaning it can push power both ways. Practically speaking, that means it can charge your home as well when needed. Or you can sell that energy back to the local grid. Only the Nissan Leaf and the Mitsubishi Engelberg Tour have that capability currently, but we expect that to change soon. And now the home theater category, where our winner is Dolby's Vision IQ technology. When it comes to video quality, Dolby Vision HDR already stands out as a benchmark for incredible experiences that are delivered on disc or via streaming. IQ takes that effort even further, allowing your TV to optimize the experience based on in-room lighting conditions. While we'd all love to watch movies in a dark home theater environment, the realities of living rooms and household lighting setups mean that you can't always control the situation the way you'd like. Any technology that takes the guesswork out of getting the, quote, best picture available is a welcome addition. Another tough call, but the winner in our connected home category is the Weber Connect Smart Grilling Hub. This accessory upgrades your existing gas, charcoal, or even pellet grill with four temperature sensors that then feed that data back to an app on your phone. You can check the ambient temperature of your grill as well as that of several meats at once. The app will also guide you through every step of the process, including prep, flipping, and estimated completion time. You don't need it for hamburgers and franks, but it should be indispensable for long cooks. Given how many people own grills and love grilling, we think this has the potential to be a real-world crowd pleaser. What to do when deciding the winner for best mobile device? Pick the flagship quality phone, the 5G device, the Chromebook, the sustainable phone with a four-year warranty. In the end, we voted for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. 
It offers many of the amenities of the Galaxy Note 10 with very few compromises and a much more palatable price. Of all the nominees in the mobile category, this is the one we'd recommend our friends and family buy if they were in the market for a new device. Moving on, it wouldn't be CS without shiny new televisions. For the past few years, LG's OLEDs have trounced every other TV we've seen at CES, thanks to the display technology's enormous benefits over traditional LCD panels. You'll still get incredible contrast in black levels with LG's 2020 lineup, starting with its C10 models. But they also include NVIDIA's G-Sync technology, which smooths out gameplay and reduces image artifacts, as well as a filmmaker mode that removes features like motion smoothing. In the best gaming category, we gave top honors to the Razer Kishi. It's a proper controller cradle for iPhones and select Android devices. Two thumbsticks, a directional pad, ABXY buttons, and four shoulder buttons. Basically, it turns your phone into a Switch-style handheld. Unlike the Razer Jungle Cat, which relied on Bluetooth, the Kishi goes straight into your smartphone's USB-C or Lightning port. The lower latency should help in competitive games like Fortnite and when you're streaming through services such as xCloud and Stadia. We always expect Sony to launch a wide variety of products at CES. But a car? Color us surprised. The company literally rolled out its Vision S concept EV on stage at its CES press conference. All told, it has 33 sensors across the interior and exterior of the car, with 360 reality audio capabilities and space for four passengers. While the car is unlikely to find its way onto roads, it serves as a showcase for how committed Sony is to transportation tech. You might not think a camera could qualify for our best sports tech category, but what if it were a camera designed to be used on the move in tricky environments? Insta360 has a lot of experience making 360-degree cams. Now the company has built a modular action camera. The mods include an extra battery, a 4K wide-angle lens, and more. There's even a 1-inch 5.3K Sensor Plus lens mod created in collaboration with Leica, no less. Similar to our mobile category, the winning pick in the PC race is actually a product that's had several years to mature. Dell's XPS 13 won its first Best of CS award when it first debuted back in 2015. Dell has kept up with the competition so much so that we find ourselves awarding the XPS 13 yet another Best of award, this time for the 2020 edition. The newest XPS 13 has a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio display, which we find more convenient to use. It also brings even thinner bezels, particularly at the bottom of the screen, making it look like the display is rising out of the keyboard. Speaking of the keys, it now has a wider edge-to-edge -edge layout, and it's as comfortable to type on as ever. This new design puts it in line with Dell's existing XPS 13 2-in-1, which came out last year and which we praised for having a sleeker look than the clamshell model. The XPS 13 might not be a new product line or a first-time winner, but of the various notebooks and tablets we considered for this award, this was far and away the item we were most likely to purchase for ourselves. There hasn't been much innovation lately in terms of consumer drone form factors, but Zero Zero Robotics got our attention with the V-Copter Falcon. This drone boasts an impressive flight time of 50 minutes, thus setting a new industry benchmark. The V-Copter Falcon also benefits from a three-axis gimbal for stable 4K video footage, along with a seven-kilometer transmission range and an extra pair of eyes for obstacle avoidance, plus clever auto-follow features for easy cinematic shots. This was our first year naming a winner in the best sustainability category, and Hydroloop once again took the cake. The truth is, we had lots of compelling entries in this category, but ultimately we decided that Hydroloop, with its in-home water recycling system, had the potential to make the biggest impact at the biggest scale. We also don't hear water purification discussed nearly enough at big tech shows, but we hope the issue gets even more of the attention it deserves in 2020. And that brings us to best of the best, which goes to Hydroloop again. Our team voted among the 15 winners across each category, and Hydroloop won by a wide margin. I have to say, in the first year that we're giving out an award for tech that can prevent or even reverse the effects of climate change, it feels good to see that device go on to win best in show. A very fitting start to 2020 indeed. Congrats to all of our winners and nominees, and thank you all for staying with us through such an epic week of CES coverage. Let's do it all again next year.